In this, uh, in this week's parsha, Truma, we learn about how God commands us to build a sanctuary for Him. Why would God want a sanctuary? Well, He wants a dwelling place for Himself on this earth. Besides, even greater than this obvious point is how do we learn, what do we learn from this? How do we grow from this? How do we use this in our own lives? Now, Back in those days, there was a revelation of God. So he was, he was resting, he was present in this mishkan, in the sanctuary. Now, we no longer have this, or we no longer know where it is for now. So how do we give God a, a dwelling place on this earth? Now, we could do this, any Jew or any person for that matter, can give God a dwelling place on this earth. Every Jew, by following the 613 mitzvot, 619 now, 620 now. Um, and every Noachide, every non-Jew, by following the seven laws of Noach. And of course, by trying to be a nice person in, in a moral way that follows the Bible's instructions. So by doing that, we are giving God a dwelling place on this earth. By acting appropriately, by by trying to refine ourselves, by trying to get closer to God himself and by feeling far from him and saying, look, I want to come closer. You're giving God a dwelling place on this earth. You're building a sanctuary for him because he could, he feels comfortable inside you, meaning God himself, who's so holy, so perfect, who's the, the, defin the essence of good. If he could have a dwelling place inside you, then that means you are so refined and the point of all this is that not that we're going to not that it's going to be so easy not that we're going to be able to do it perfectly or, because no only God is perfect but that's what makes it so beautiful is that that's what God desires he desires for us to overcome the challenges he desires for us to search for him he desires for us to go out sometimes and say well you can't really smell see or hear or feel God but when you really try to get close to him you try to learn the torah and you look at the essence of who we are and how we're all here and you search for answers the answers will become very clear as uh as i've learned from many rabbis when you see the creation it tells something so great about the creator when you see the creation of the human mind everything around us how perfectly the world works with the sun going up the sun goes down the seasons our family it's it's all it's all for a good reason nothing is nothing's by accident and I know I've been rambling a bit today, but that's the point. The point is to get closer to God, to go outside of your comfort zone, to make an extra step. To We, we can resemble God in that sense, meaning we have the spark of divine in us. How do we let it out? We have to work on it. We have to learn Torah. We have to do mitzvot. We have to do acts of kind deeds. If you're feeling low, you're feeling... Uh, you're feeling far from God, well, you can take that negativity and say, look, whenever one's feeling down, take that negativity and say, rather than just be down about everyday life, be down, at least make it for a good thing. Say, say be down that you're a bit far from God and you haven't been as good as you should have been. We haven't been as good as we, should, we could have been. And then we take that sadness and we turn it into greatness because recognizing that you're far from God, that is a huge step in coming closer to God. The further, it's like, you feel so far away from God, but yet you're so close. You just have to realize it. You have to work on it. And we have to... Suli Mikdash. That's what Hashem says in the Paksha. Suli Mikdash. They shall build me a sanctuary. As today, we're building a sanctuary. By doing acts of kindness. By teaching others around you. By trying to help others when they're down. Lifting them back up. You're, you're, you're cleaning the world up. And you're giving God... A, a, a home on this earth and and god, that's what god wants on this lowest of worlds this material world we're making a home for god so we'll merit to see the mashiach soon thank you so much for watching if you like this you could like it share it share it with your friends let's build a sanctuary for hashem and let's see let's see the mitzvot that we do shabbat shalom